80 percent to 90 percent of the days are relatively boring, and the experiments are not, or what you're doing are not successful. You have to enjoy that process. That 90 percent of the days when you're solving the problem or figuring out the problem, you need to enjoy. You derive happiness out of it. But you know, you will spend close to eight hours a day every day for your rest of your life working. So if you are not deriving joy out of it. Um, so, physics can take two points of view. One point of view is that the really important problems of physics are dark matter, dark energy. What happens that the Big Bang, whether there are like strings which make up uh, you know, quarks or muons or whatever. That's one. The other, so that says that I want to, this is called reduction. That you want to reduce the problem to smaller and smaller. I ask you what is X? You say X is not X. X is made out of three ones. And then I say what is a Y? You say oh Y, don't ask me what is Y. Because Y is made out of four sets. And you can go keep doing that. And then you reach a stage where you say, I, it is made out of a bunch of cues and they said what are cues and the answer is that we don't know so that's one thing. that's a very valid way of doing physics the other way of doing physics is okay I know what these cues are or you know, z's are can I make a zebra out of it and the answer is no I have my pencil you can leave one layer behind. You can't do quite diamond. Diamond will not, uh, diamond will not leave anything. <coughs> so you are able to write because of the special structure of graphite. It is called as exfoliation. By just uh, touch of pencil with paper, some force is applied, and, and then you when you lift the pencil, one layer, two layers of graphene are left behind, that becomes your handwriting. There's some no chemical bonding. Nuclear waste has got a lot of wealth. Wealth which does not exist in nature, it exists only in nuclear waste. What is the value to you without spending much time? Technetium. Technetium is not found in nature. Technetium is a man-made element. Technetium is found only and only in nuclear waste. And technetium is a war, uh, war horse of cancer diagnosis. So, when I was talking about this data to my colleagues in neurobiology and to my clinical colleagues who are practicing psychiatry, psychology or neurophysiology or neurologists, they all were saying that we are not surprised with these differences, they could be just hormones. Obviously males and females make different hormones, so the gene expression profiling in the brains also could be different. And my friends in psychology also tell me that other male and female differences may not be really surprising to us because the way an individual is geared to. The males always play more outdoor activities, the females play more indoor activities. The color choices for males are fewer. As kids, we would have got choices of probably blue and gray and white and colors, whereas females have probably got the most of the colorful choice. And therefore, these differences could arise. So people are not really, really convinced with this kind of a data. Hmm. 99 or 1998. One day, by accident, at home, reading about the course, I discovered a relation between a certain theorem, which was known in probability theory, and a technique in partial differential equations by a young colleague from Germany. We had planned to work together with that colleague already. And then I wrote him, oh, I discovered this, and maybe we can make an article, and so on, etc. The plan that we had, it took us 10 years to complete. The small observation that I made, it took like one hour to find the relation and two weeks to write the paper. The paper which was written in two weeks, was accepted in one day and to this day is my most quoted paper. 
The paper that took me 10 years to write, almost nobody read it. So, it really varies a lot. Sometimes very simple things are huge breakthroughs, sometimes very difficult things are not so important. You cannot really put it. My box is at nothing. The important mode of reasoning is social culture. Well, this is a very important thing even for physics learning. That's what I mean that is perspective and, and tremendous concept. You must have seen even in why is it that the CBS students are tending to do better than equally intelligent students in an area, uh, in a suburb area or in some remote area, which, has, which doesn't have issues like the IFR around? It's a social, it's a social college. When you see scientists from the IFR and you go there and you just, you are, you are so, you are learning, uh, even of physics is taking place by the social world. Not because you thought it, but you are saying that this is, this is the fact, this is the way people are talking. In particular, that's the way they talk. That's the way they talk. It comes very implicitly, but you gradually acquire the discourse of the scientists. So I can put more and more and that goes as one bias. Why don't I increase the area of the chair? Then I can, then I can sit in more. Answer is you cannot do it because the way the silicon foundry works is that you can make a certain vapor size and then cut it into various pieces. That vapor size cannot be very big. It's almost like you cannot have a very big papad because it becomes brittle. Or, or you cannot have a very big papad because it will get warped. Like a vinyl record which is old and gets warped. So that is what it is. So you cannot increase the size of the chips. The size of the chip is also fixed by things like design consideration. That you I cannot put a very big chip anymore. Scientists talk in a particular manner. Right? I mean, it cannot be said they talk in this manner. But you are sure that the way scientists speak in, uh, in KF or West Kenti, the way some teachers in office in the area speak, what is the difference? Please don't think that those scientists are more intelligent than those teachers. Effect. Intelligence is uniformly distributed all over statistically. I mean, there may be some level, some that's a different matter, anyone that is debatable. 